Alright, hey guys, my name is Meows, and welcome to my first challenge tag video, besides Cinnamon Challenge, which I'm not sure if I'll ever do again, because that was a horrifying experience. Um, today we are going to be doing the This or That Gamer Edition tag, which I got tagged by the lovely Shui be right here. So if you want to go check her out, go ahead, the link is in the description down below. Um, go ahead and show her some love. She plays a lot of fun and silly games. Um, actually, a couple months ago, she wrapped up her Sims 4 Gamer Mansion, where she took in uh, suggestions from the fans and built rooms based on that. And then she made a really cool mansion from it, myself included. I suggested an art room, which she aced. So, as always, go check out her channel. I've said it a million times before, but as I'm talking, I've realized I'm rambling. So we're going to get started with this challenge tag. So she said that there was 15 questions and that it's a gamer edition, so perfect for me. Hello. Got the gamer queen over here. King, I guess. Um, I just gotta like get the questions pulled up and then we're gonna get right into this. So here we go. Starting off with question number one. PlayStation or Xbox? And I would have to pick PlayStation um, I would have said Xbox like a year ago and any time before that because I literally only had an Xbox, um, nothing else. Because, well, you know, that was what we had. And so when the Xbox One came out, we were like, mm, no, not worth it. We saw the Xbox 360. Um, but then someone loaned us the PlayStation 3 and we just fell in love with it. Um, we got the Final Fantasy trilogy, the Mass Effect trilogy, and all that stuff. And then we got a PlayStation 4 recently, as y'all know course and i just can't get used to the xbox i tried earlier like a couple of days ago to get used to xbox again i can't i'm used to playstation now i'm a playstation boy now that's who i am now guys i can't control how my hands do the controller thingy with the thing and the other thing and the buttons and the uh. sorry rant over question two pc or console now i'm gonna have to say pc on this one and that's because the majority of the games that I play are on, like, PC or whatever. Like, I've got Wizard, I've got Sims, I've got Gary's Mod, uh, I've got Minecraft, which I don't really play on the channel, whatever. Uh, Hearthstone's on here, like, kinda, John Witcher Dash a bit. Um, and other games that I like to play with my friends and stuff like that. And, yes, console has those too, but console's more of, like, a single-player thing for me, like, Mass Effect and Final Fantasy and all that. So, I'm also, PC is like where I do most of my YouTube stuff. So, if I didn't have a, a PlayStation, then I wouldn't, you know, be able to do YouTube and all that. So, I'm gonna have to go with PC on this one. Sorry, console. I love you, but, you know. If I had a better PC, then it would just be a total, like, done deal. But, that's what we do. Question three. Single player or multiplayer? I'm gonna have to go single player on this one. I love me some single player. I love me, like, as... I'm gonna use this analogy for every question, I swear to god. Mass Effect, Final Fantasy. Because, yes, I do appreciate multiplayer. I like being able to play with my friends or whatever. Because then we have a fun time, we laugh, we have fun, we enjoy, and we have jokes, and that makes content and fun, and, you know, moments and memories and all that. But, I love being able to just, you know, think me at my own pace. And it's not like, oh, are you at this point, at this point yet? It's like, Oh, well, I'm gonna do this part in a couple weeks, or, you know, I'm gonna beat this boss tomorrow when I'm actually, you know, mentally in that state. To not be like... I, I like to be able to just choose when I decide to take my control and just go... And when to just stay calm, cool, and collected, and just love it all. Bring my questions back. Question four. Open world or set storyline? Ooh, this is a tough one. Ooh, that's tough. Hold on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pick open world. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to say open world on this one because with open world, you can like decide what things you wanna do in what order. And it's not like with a story where you're like, all right, I have to do A first, B second, C third, D fourth. It's like, oh, I could do, you know, F first, and then I could go over to like W and then S over here. And just you could jumble it all up and you could like decide what you want to do. And you don't have to be stuck, you know, fighting the same fucking monsters for three and a half hours while you're 
freaking preparing to fight this other bitch has nothing to do with the rest of these little tw twiddling dums over here. Um, that was a huff, that was a really uh, tough question. Um, ugh. <laughs> sorry. Question number five: Player versus player or player versus environment? Player versus environment. End of story. Can't PVP. I suck at it. Next question. Question number six, mouse and keyboard or controller? And I'm gonna have to say controller because there's so many games where like, yes, you can use the keyboard and the mouse and it's like, okay. But then there's like the controller and it's like the keyboard all mashed into one little like weird shaped thing you can't even explain the shape, but it's got like the thumbstick and the thumbstick and the buttons and the other circular buttons and the buttons and all the buttons are doing the button thing. That made no sense. I apologize profusely. I just feel like using a controller is more of a practical thing than having like a keyboard over here and the mouse over here and there's like separate hotkeys for each thing you got the controller and it's like the hotkeys are on one little weird like thing that you want to pull apart because you feel like you can you just go <coughs> but can't because otherwise you pay like 50 bucks and it's not pretty for your wallet because your wallet cries and so do you. But, you know, that's how we do. That's how the controller do. Controller is our queen. Alright, question number seven. First person shooter or hack and slash? Um, I'm gonna have to go with a hack and slash. Well, that's just because the majority of the games that I play are hack and slash. Like, I think Final Fantasy counts as a hack and slash. I think. Because that's not a first person shooter. Um, same with like Wizard and Minecraft and all the other games that I really enjoy. The only first person shooter that I really enjoy is, you know, Mass Effect. But I only play that on occasion when I'm, you know, really wanting to destroy something after a really stressful day. So, but otherwise I just play hack and slice. I'm like, ah, ha, 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 slice your dice, bitch. Um, but otherwise. Yeah, I, I definitely prefer um, hack and slash because it, I just enjoy it more than FPS. Question number eight: First person or third person? I'm gonna get a call from my mom. Apparently. Hello. Ooh. I love how the one time you call during the day to nine to five, you're fine. Well, that was fun. Question eight is first person or third person. I'm gonna have to go with third person, just because I, I, I really I like the way it works a lot more than first person. Because with first person, it's you're looking this way, so is your character. First person is you're looking this way, so is your character. Third person is oh you're looking this way and running that way and you're looking that way. Like first per like third person is just a total wonderfully constructed beautiful mess, and I just uh, adore it so much. And, you know, it's like, oh, if you're sitting behind a corner and you can't look around the corner and first person, third person, that bitch, fucking, boom, bye, bitch, good night. Like, that's how it works. I just love it so much. I don't know. Like, Mass Effect's third person, Final Fantasy's third person, was a 101 in third person. And it's just, oh, I love it. I love it so much. And it's just... Thank you, third person. Question number nine is RPG or JRPG or... Role-playing game or Japanese role-playing game? I'm gonna have to go with Japanese role-playing game Just because I feel like the stories are so much better and the characters are much more developed and you know They have more comedy a lot more variety and you can do a lot more with a JRPG than a normal RPG and the voice acting is just so perfect especially in like Japanese voice acted JRPGs Ugh, I just can't. Like, Final Fantasy XIII, again, it's just beautiful. And then, like, you know, Persona 5, which I've heard is just, like, the best game ever to exist. Um, and then Nino Kuni, the Nino Kuni, Nino Kuni 2 series is whatever. Question number 10 is horror or rage games. I'm gonna have to go with, uh, rage games. Because I cannot play horror games to save my life. I will fall out of my chair, I will punch something, something will get thrown, something will break, and it's not a fun time. Not a fun time. And with a rage game, it's like, with a rage game, it's like I can control whether or not I'm like, oh, this is pissing me off, I'm gonna go now, whereas with a horror game, it's like, oh, everything's having funny, ah! 
that and then I just die and I get scared and I sh everywhere and it's not pretty and I die inside can't recover so rage games definitely more tolerable for me thank you very can this camera fix itself please thank you god top of business question 11 is it a physical or digital copy of a game I'm gonna have to go with physical copy, 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 copy. Question number 12 is new or used games? Um, mm, I'm gonna have to go with mm, multiple, like, ex ex I'm gonna say what Shreepy said because I agree with it 100%. If it's a game that I know I'm going to like, or at least I've been waiting for forever and ever, and I don't give a crap if it sucks, I want this game, it's going to be mine. I'm gonna want a new copy. If it's a game where someone tells me about it and I'm like, oh, okay, that sounds cool. Sure, I'll check it out. I'll be like, okay, we'll get a used copy because they're like kind of met anyways. And then if it's good, then I'll keep it. If it's not, then I'll give it back or whatever. So there's multiple circumstances, but most likely used because most games I, I hear about, I'll unnormally hear about games. I won't be like hyped for a game. So that's how that goes. Question number 13 is close combat or ranged combat? I'm gonna have to say ranged combat because the majority of games that I play, ranged combat is like the mage or wizard or whatever. And I enjoy, you know, being able to cast spells and enchantments and all this other fun stuff with ranged attacks. There's physical attacks, it's really just sing, 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 shang, chang, shunk, and that's it. Whereas with the range, you know, you've got your multitude of attacks. Like, you know, Ooh, let me throw a fireball. Let me throw an entire blizzard at your face. <laughs> but it's just like, I love it. I love it. It's great. It's a great variety. And I just, I love that our range attacks. That, and you've got like, <sighs> Katniss helping this hoe. Question number 14, speaker or headphones? Question number 15, S Sega or a SNES or a Super Nintendo Entertainment System? Um, Nintendo, hello. Uh, I freaking love every Mario game in existence. And the last, oh wait, that was the last question. Oh, I didn't think that was the last question. Oh, I was so excited. I was like, oh, I'm gonna do all these questions and it's gonna be a fun time. <laughs> I'm sad now. I'm really excited to do like more. Um, so this has definitely been the this or that gamer tag that I got tagged in by Shweeby. And it's community builder, so I have to tag someone now. Like I gotta be part of it. I gotta tag someone. Right, so my first tag is going to be DJ Lemac. He is someone I've known for a hot minute now. And he does a lot of games on his channel like Gary's Mod, Back to the Future, um, and also this one game called Trigger Happy Havoc. Dangan, Dangan Ronpa, if that's how you pronounce it, and it's just a very fun, interesting channel, and he does his own custom thumbnails with his own drawings, and it's just so creative, and I love it, and I think it would be a lot of fun for him to do this challenge, or to tag, or whatever, so DJ, you're tagged, tag, you're it, I tagged you, tag, I moved my camera again, god, flip. Alright, the final person that I'm tagging for this is, um, It's a Trap Productions. Um, he's someone that I've known for a while now. Not, like, a long time. None of the people I've known for a long time. But I've known him for a while. And he does a lot of streams on this channel, such as playing SNES games. Um, some chill streams where he just hangs out and you can come in while you're working. And y'all can just chat in the chat or whatever. He also plays stuff like Sonic, and he also does his own animations called Emina, if that's how you pronounce it. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's called Emina, and it's like his own little animated series, and he has voice like voice actors and his own animations, and it's just a, a lot of really funny, you know, content and fun, and I just love it. It's so creative, and it's just a wonderful channel, and I definitely think you should go check him out. Because I really enjoyed coming to his streams, coming to his channel, watching his streams and all that. And really just chatting with his channel, you know, and his chat and him. And it's just a lot of fun and I enjoyed it a lot. So, Trap, you're also tagged. You're 
So as always, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.